It's a beautiful day for golf, and that's why we are at Temple Hills, and we are talking with Johan Koch. He is going to be heading up to Valhalla in just a few weeks for the PGA Championships. Congratulations! Thank that's you very awesome, much, my Kelly. friend. So we were watching and rooting for you during the PGA Professional Championship that was happening out at Myrtle Beach. Incredible first round, 67, on a course that you said you struggled with the last time you played. Yeah, I went there on my brother's bachelor party, and I think my brother actually beat me that day on that golf course. So <laughs> when I heard I qualified, well, when I found out I qualified, I heard which golf course it was. I was like, ooh, I don't really like that golf course very much. My brother beat me on that course. So it was a, it was a pleasant surprise to shoot 67 the first day. Incredible round. I know going in and knowing that you are tied for the lead. Mm -hmm. How hard is that? When you come out the next day, was there extra pressure? Was that weighing on your mind that night? Not really. I mean, I think the hardest part is when you have a good round in general, it's always hard to play another good round the day after. So right. that's, that's always difficult. We were playing a different golf course, which makes it a little bit easier. And it's such a long week. I'm not used to playing a four-round golf tournament. So you just kind of plug your way through the week and see, and see where you finish. You know, you finished tied for eighth, of course. That's a qualifier to go to Valhalla. You're going to be playing in the PGA Championship. Is this a dream come true? Absolutely. I mean, the, when I got my PGA Class A last year, I said, well, now I want to reach a major. I, I've never played in a major championship before. I've played European Tour and Sunshine Tour and some other nationwide events, but this is definitely the icing on the cake. What do you feel like you need to work on between now and then? Because obviously you've qualified and you're excited and you're going to be a part of a major that's happening. So what do you do? Because you don't want to completely revamp your game, but you got some tweaks going. Yeah, basically just tweak everything. Just get comfortable with everything. My putting's in pretty good shape. I'd say it's right up there with any level that I need to be on. Short game, I'm going to have to do, do some practicing. It'll be a little difficult at a at a major, then my ball striking hasn't been good, but I, I actually took a lesson this morning, not really a lesson, just a little tweak this morning from a, a teaching pro here in town. So got, got something to work on before the tournament. With that first round in the qualifier, you were really going after your three wood instead of your driver. What was the idea behind that? Was it the length or was it you're just more comfortable with the three wood now? A little bit of both. Uh, the, the golf course had a lot of bunkers at about 290 yards, so if I hit driver, I can get into them. Yeah. So with three wood, I take those out of play. But really, at the end of the day, I just wasn't hitting it very good. And with my three wood, I can keep it in play. Excellent. All right, we're going to be looking for you, rooting Thank for you. you so we can't much, wait to see him. Make sure that you're following us right here on Williamson Source. And of course, if you want more information on Temple Hills, you can always hit up Johan. He is now the general manager out here, and it's a beautiful place to play golf.